Working with the calendar tools can be a little unsettling, especially when you aren't certain which tools to use. You are encouraged to create a pretend student and practice using these tools. Here we have created an 8th grade student using the free textbook lesson plans. Our school year started August 1st, and I added a week-long Thanksgiving break and two weeks for Christmas break. On the Courses tab, we can see what our projected end date might be and how those breaks affected our end date. Here we can see the lessons with lines through them. These are completed lessons. The green bubble shows you, the parent, what needs to be graded. The blue bubbles are showing you the lessons that are late. In this example, we are in the student side of the hub. The student can't move or control the lessons. However, they can control the events they create on their side of the calendar. For example, this series of events for worship band practice that Jonathan added to the calendar can be changed by him or the parent. Jonathan can delete the whole series, delete one day, or even edit the event. Jonathan needs to remove this event on this day. He would choose the delete option for that one day. We started off this year behind because we took some extra time for Christmas break. We know we have plenty of time to complete these late lessons, but we would like to be current on the calendar view. Now we're going to use these reschedule tools. The first one we're going to talk about is the catch up all late lessons tool. This will move all late lessons to the current date. It shifts all lessons into the future. This is a great way to get your student caught up quickly. Here the system tells you that it will reschedule all the late lessons to today or after. You choose which student you will be catching up and you will need to click the box that you understand. By using this tool, you will be extending the projected end date of your school. Click reschedule and now our current view is caught up. Back on the parent side of the calendar, you can now see that the single date of worship band practice is removed from the calendar. We are going to add an event for his doctor's appointment on Friday. Jonathan won't be able to finish the whole day of school. He wanted to take the physics test on Saturday, but Saturday is not a normal school day for us. We are going to use the Create a New School Day tool. We choose the date of the doctor's appointment and want to move it to the following day. Here we wanted to move the, just this one subject, but you can choose as many as you wanted to move. The system now reschedules that one subject to Saturday and views Friday as not a normal school day for just that one course. Here we notice that there are three big tests in two days and the student would like to separate these into different days. We would like to move Earth Science Review to Friday and the test to Monday. In the box, we choose which student this applies to. The course is Earth Science and the start date is the day we want to move. The destination date is what we want it moved to. This can be in the past or in the future. But keep in mind, this will shift all lessons in the course and does affect your projected end date. You as the parent have several options when you click on a lesson. The student does not have access to these options. When they click on the lesson, they are taken to the lesson in that course. We have decided that Jonathan will not be able to complete the pre-cal review, so we want to use the move to next day option here. Now the review has been moved to the next school day, which is Monday, along with the test. We have decided to take the whole day off on Friday since we have that doctor's appointment in the middle of the day. This time we will use the reschedule option here. We will move it to the day before. We don't want to shift the lesson, so we leave this box unchecked. And now it doesn't affect any other lessons. It only moved the one lesson to the previous day. Here is our calendar for March. It's a busy month. My students have decided to go on a mission trip for spring break, so I need to fix our calendar 
to make that week a non-school week, we completed the form applying it to all students and entered the dates here. This event is an all-day event and we want to shift the lessons on the calendar. This will move all the lessons that were scheduled to that week forward and does affect your projected end date. There are several other options we have by clicking on the lesson in the calendar. We can skip a lesson which removes it from the calendar but leaves future lessons where they are. We can skip and replace which skips lessons and replaces it with the next. This will shift all future lessons back one school day. The last option is to click on grade. This takes you back to the assignments tab and you can begin grading those assignments that need to be reviewed. Oh.